What's up guys and welcome back to Outdoor Beards. Over the course of the winter, my family experienced a little bit of a tragedy, if you will. My barbecue blew over in a storm. So grill plates were busted, hood was dented, handle was broken. I thought I'd be frugal and try to replace the parts and some of the parts aren't made anymore. So I just decided to buy a new barbecue, which is what this is. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys what you need to do when you're setting up a brand new barbecue. Make sure it's seasoned, make sure it's safe, so we can skip to the good part and see how fast I can build this thing. Nailed it. So we've got the barbecue all put together, but there's a couple of things that we need to do before we can actually cook on it. For starters, safety. You need to make sure you check all of your hoses, all of your connections. So put together a little soapy water mixture and put this on all of your connections. Then turn your gas on. What you're trying to do here is you're looking for bubbles. If you have any sort of bubbles, you've got leaks. So you need to tighten those connections or you might have to possibly replace something if it came bad, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Now the safety part is done, we need to clean off a few parts of the grill. Manufacturers are going to use, you know, some sort of residue to make sure that things don't rust while it's, you know, waiting to be sold. So we're going to clean all that off. Get yourself a bucket of soapy water and a rag. Pull out your grill plates, including the small one. I also like to do this to the heat shield, so pull those out too. We're going to wipe all these down with our soapy water, rinse them off, dry them off with a towel, and then we can put them back in. Now once you've got it all put back together, you can turn it on for the first time. We're going to leave this running on high for about 30 minutes. This is to cook off any remaining residue that came from the manufacturer or possibly from your cleaning process. Oh, and make sure you leave the hood open while you're doing this. You want to make sure that any of those particles and you know residue and stuff that you're burning off during this process is actually leaving the barbecue. If you have the hood closed while you're doing this, it's just going to stay in there, so leave it open. We still have a couple of steps before we actually get to cook on our grill. We need to season it first. Now this has a couple of purposes. Number one, it's going to help create a non-stick surface on the, all the parts of your grill. Number two, it's going to help everything taste a little bit better. Now you're going to need canola oil and a paper towel for this. Now if you don't have a spray can, just dip your paper towel in canola oil and rub it all over the pieces. I just find it a little bit easier with a spray can. You're going to be putting this on all of the parts of your barbecue except for the actual burners down in the bottom of the barbecue. Some people only say to do this to the, act the actual grill plates where you put your food, but I would rather do it on all of it because I want a non-slick surface on every piece, including in the, inside the hood. Start spraying all your parts. Get it coated and then wipe it down with your paper towel. As you're wiping here, part of what you're trying to do is actually spread it around on all the parts. Creating a nice even coat all over the barbecue. When you're doing the hood, you actually kind of have to fold the hood down, just kind of reach under there, because there's a part in the back behind the hood here that's kind of hard to get to while the hood is actually open. Now when you go to season your grill plates, you want to make sure you season both sides of these. The easiest way to do this, put them in upside down, season the bottom side, flip them over, put them back in, season the top side. Last step in the process is to burn off any excess canola oil. So start your barbecue back up, let it go for about half an hour, and then you're ready to cook. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful, and I hope you have a safe and absolutely delicious barbecue season. And as always, stay bearded, my friends.